there are literally hundreds of ways now to install and serve large language models locally one of the oldest and probably one of the most stable tool is vllm i have been covering vllm for a long time now and i think that this project has evolved a lot and yet it maintains its simplicity and quality in this video i am going to show you in a very easy step by step way as how to install and then serve a model with vllm so let's get started i am fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel before I start, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and the GPU which I am going to use is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. First up, as usual, let's start by creating a virtual environment. This is not a mandatory step, but I believe it is always a good practice to do that so that it everything remains nice, clean and separate. And that should be done now. Next up, we need to install VLLM. For VLLM, I'm also going to install Torch and Optionally, you can go with Torch Vision and Torch Audio depending upon the model. But as I'm just going to use the text model, so I'm even if you just install Torch and then you see on the second line VLLM or and Hugging Face Hub, you should be good to go. Hugging Face Hub, the reason why we are installing it is that because we are going to download the model from that website and we would need to log in there. And you would also need to grab a read free token from your Hugging Face profile. So for that, all you need to do is to just go to huggingface.co, sign in, and then from your profile, grab your free read token. So let's wait for these to get installed. And meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation and everything is installed next up we need to download the model and then serve it now you can see that i'm just going to use this vllm use v1 which is going to use a previous version of vllm for compatibility issues and then i am serving this 2.5 coder model you can choose any model you like first time when you run it it is going to download the model and you see that i haven't really logged into hugging face the reason being that if you go to this model page on hugging face you would see that this model is not a gated model so you really don't need to log in but if you see that like jamma models or few others where you have to log in you would need to log into the hugging face hub through hugging face cli okay so let's go back and run this this is going to detect the gpu on our system and then download the model And the model is being downloaded the size is just over 3 gig while it downloads let's talk a bit more about this vllm because the project is quite cool in my opinion um, it gives you really state-of-the-art throughput so even if you want to serve the model in your own local area network in your company i will show you that it, you can just simply access it through an open a compatible api endpoint through url and you can secure it with some ssl certificate easily you can serve it even globally if you want to do that also you can enable continuous batching of incoming requests so it makes it really easy um, model execution is really fast and you will see it shortly and we are going to use the full model but in full precision i mean but you can go with quantized models like uh, we do with olama you can go with gptq awq int4 int8 and fp8 also, it supports flash attention and flash inference. You can also do some chunked prefill just to optimize the memory efficiency. So there are a lot of features which you can check out on their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And meanwhile, the model has been downloaded and also loaded onto our GPU. And now it is just checking the model and then it is shortly going to serve it, which is completed. So now the vllm engine is now running so just don't cancel it just 
minimize the screen and then I'm just going to open another screen or another terminal I mean and this is where I am going to access this VLLM okay so first let me show you the VRAM consumption for this model so it is con you can see that this is how uh, how much it is consuming just over 44 gig anyway so let me clear the screen here and then um, the reason why it is showing 44 is that I believe I have two models uh, serving at the moment because this is not really possible for it to serve that much so let me show you what i'm saying so if you run this curl command from your terminal you see that this is the model which is being uh, done at the moment and then i had another model which is also loaded onto that gpu so because i run multiple uh, videos so i think this is what is happening here at the moment and that is why that much vram Anyway, we will worry about this VRAM later. So let's try to run the inference on this one and I will show you what is happening. So all I'm doing here is I am going to run this code, which is going to do the inference. Before I run that, let me show you the code. This is a simple code in order to do the inference and use the model. We are importing this OpenAI. The reason is because it is an OpenAI compatible endpoint. And this is the endpoint at our local host at port 8000 with v1 which is uh, typical with open air compatible endpoints for the base url just do any random value here this is the model we are using and then with the help of this instantiated client of open AI, we are passing it the prompt from here and then it is generating the text on the basis of these parameters which you can of course change as you like and then you can give it any prompt of, prompt of your choice so i am asking the question from this model that to write me a python function to reverse a string so let's go here and run this there you go you see it is almost instantaneous and it has given a perfectly well answer so if you think about it you can simply serve your model from here and then maybe from your network or from wherever you can simply point your applications to this endpoint and then by using this simple code you can have uh, your own local inference client server networking so this is the beauty of vllm and as i said it does a lot of other things which you can use if you like not only that you can use vision models with it and you can use a lot of other sort of models including other modalities and i have done heaps of videos on it if you're interested just search the channel anyway if you're just starting out with vllm i think this should be good enough if you still have any questions please feel free to reach out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching